Mom, listen. Some months ago, we had been to Masuri to enjoy the cold there. But now it is cold here too. Yes, Arjun. This is because the season has changed from summers to winters. Oh, is that so? But how did it happen? Arjun, seasons change every few months because of Earth's movement. Friends, like Arjun, you must have wondered that how does the movement of Earth brings about changes in seasons? Let us find out the answer for this query. Let us learn about the two main seasons, summers and winters. During summers in India, which is generally from the month of March to June, the upper half of the Earth is tilted towards the sun. In result, the days are longer than the nights and the sun remains in the sky for a longer duration. The sun rays fall straight and directly on the upper half of the Earth, making more light and heat reach this part of the Earth. During the winter season in India, which is generally from the month of November to February, the upper half of the Earth is tilted away from the sun. As a result, the nights are longer than the days and the sun remains in the sky for a shorter duration. The sun rays fall slanted on the upper half of the Earth. Hence, less light and heat reach this part of the Earth. Now let us see what causes the change in the seasons. We all know that the Earth revolves around the sun. The axis of the Earth remains tilted in one direction as it revolves around the sun. During a certain period in the year, half of the Earth faces the sun while the other half faces away from the sun. The half of the earth that faces the sun receives direct sun rays, while the other half of the earth receives slanted sun rays. This is the position of the earth during March to June. Now let us compare the distance between the points CM. CM are the points from the North Pole to the sun. BK are the points from the South Pole to the Sun. These points help us understand that the upper half of the Earth is closer to the Sun. During the period of March to June, the upper half of the Earth is tilted towards the Sun. So, this part receives direct sun rays and thus gets more heat and light. This means that the upper half of Earth has summer during the period of March to June, whereas during this period, the lower half of the Earth is tilted away from the Sun. This half receives slanted sun rays, thus gets less light and heat. During this time, the lower half of the Earth experiences winters. The Earth revolves around the Sun on a definite path, called the Earth's orbit. The position of the Earth keeps on changing as it revolves around the Sun. The Earth travels to the opposite side in six months. That is why there is a change in seasons. The Earth is shaped like an orange. As we move up from the equator towards the poles, the Sun rays become more and more slanted. Thus, the polar regions receive very little sunlight and heat and they remain covered in ice throughout the year. We have learned how the seasons change according to the movement of Earth.